Hi friends and welcome to this video. I have probably sat down to record this about five times and this is a very timely topic because every single time either one of my kids wakes up or they uh, wake up from their nap or it's really late at night right now and they've woken up a couple of times this evening as well and those moments you just need wisdom uh, for patience and for guidance and for or from for strength from the Lord. Um, so this is a very timely topic for me, and I want to encourage all of you out there who are mamas to young ones or maybe even older kids, or you're wanting to prepare yourself to become a mother that uh, uses the Bible and God's Word as um, guidance for the motherhood journey. I really hope this video is encouraging to you. Uh, this is Your Anointed Home and my name is Hannah. For any of you who are new here, I make videos that help wives and mothers and just homemakers steward their homes well for the Lord. So let's hop into this video and I'm going to try to just pack a bunch of information and encouragement into just a few minutes. So let's talk about wisdom. Wisdom for the mundane moments in motherhood. Wisdom comes up over and over again in God's word. If you need to know how to get wisdom, just open the book of Proverbs. It is full of that topic. That one book alone is packed with so many answers of how to get wisdom and to gain that insight from the Lord to just live everyday life, whether that is motherhood or other seasons of life. Because we all need wisdom from the Lord, no matter what season of life we are in, whether you are single and living with your parents, or if you are a young wife who maybe doesn't have kids yet, or maybe you just have a newborn and you're learning how to be in the thick of that, um, whatever season of life you're in, you need wisdom. But there is something about the motherhood that requires wisdom. Um, as mothers, we do the same task each and every day. We tend to cries, um, we clean up messes, we mop up spills off the floor, we feed little mouths that honestly sometimes feels like a non-stop job throughout the day. Uh, we clean up more messes. There are plenty of messes to clean up throughout the day, especially when you are in these baby and toddler stages of motherhood. Um, we stay up late with little ones who can't sleep, which was my story tonight. Um, and then we're up throughout the night with those same little ones for a number of reasons. Those mundane moments of motherhood is, uh, they can be very exhausting. Those little responsibilities and unexpected moments are very hard to get through when you are doing the same thing each and every day. It becomes very tiresome and very like overwhelming. And for our mindset, sometimes it really it does cloud our mindset because we are doing the same things each and every day and it can become kind of meaningless to us even though it isn't it is such a meaningful job but that is where wisdom from the lord comes in because it is so easy to get caught up in the narrative that life is better without kids um, when i was in the thick of my second postpartum experience i fell into a lot of very negative mindsets and uh there were so many things that came up in my mind that I just had to rebuke and just know that it wasn't true and that the Lord uh, gives us reasons and gives us blessings in this season of motherhood, even in the mundane long nights. Um, it's still such a beautiful job. So those uh, ideas that life is better without kids or that you need a life of your own, um, being, a st being a stay at home mom really isn't worth anything uh, is just not true. Uh, motherhood is such a rewarding job. It is a beautiful job that the Lord looks down on as uh, rewarding and beautiful and something that is uh, one of the best things that is building his kingdom because we are raising the next generation either to fight for the world and the enemy and his ways or to fight for the Lord and to build his kingdom up. So that is why we need wisdom in the mundane moments. Um, wisdom is so important for us as believers. If we do not want to gain wisdom, then we will not be able to live the holy life God desires us to. Um, those moments, whatever they may be, whether you are instructing little ones over and over again throughout the day, or you are trying not to lose your patience over the 20th spill already this morning, um, those moments we can either choose to, uh, 
live righteously, have a servant's heart, and have wisdom in those moments to be patient, to practice those fruits of the Spirit. Or we can just, um, maybe not desire, but we can choose to let our flesh take over and not live that holy life because we need to dwell on things that are holy and acceptable to the Lord and how we act also depends on that. If you don't know where to start, to begin getting wisdom. Uh, again, I would suggest that you just start reading the book of Proverbs. Uh, that book has so many reminders and suggestions and just great insight to getting wisdom and putting away folly. I read through the book of Proverbs uh, like diligently a month ago and it really did just open my eyes to so much, especially in motherhood and those like yeah mundane moments that we can have um, wisdom or we can choose to let our emotions take over and just be foolish with the way we react and the way we um, guide our children and discipline our children. There is a lot of foolish foolishness in that and the enemy I believe really wants to take um, advantage of that and advantage of our tiredness and um, just the moments where we can lose patience and choose to live according to our own wants. Um, but that is why we need wisdom. Proverbs 16, 16 says, How much better to get wisdom than gold? To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. So just like those precious metals is wisdom for the believer's life. Um, th that is one of the best things we can get because if we have wisdom from the Lord, we can get through anything. So when we as mothers who are in the thick of the mundane responsibilities each and every day gain wisdom, we are able to serve our family with such grace and strength and faith and just the ability that only comes from the Lord. You will need wisdom when you start to lose control of your attitude because you have been correcting and instructing those little ones all day. You will need wisdom when your four-year-old comes asking those difficult questions that they want you to answer, whether you just don't know the answers or those questions of why, why, why are just trying on your mind and you just don't know the answer, answers and you just, yeah, you just want to lose patience on them. You will need wisdom in that. You will need wisdom when your baby won't won't stay asleep at night. Um, you will need wisdom when your favorite coffee mug maybe gets broken because your children are playing too rough and you told them over and over again but they still haven't listened and then what you thought would happen happened and you have a mess to clean up. Um, you will need wisdom in that moment. You will need wisdom when your husband comes home from work and all you want to do is just break down, maybe just throw the kids at, the, at him and go hide. I know I've been there before and some days do need that. You do need that help. But we also need to try to control our emotions and just allow the Father to give us strength than trying to just give it all up because he will still give us strength. Those are the mundane moments that you will need wisdom from the Lord in this season of motherhood. So James 5, 1, or James 1, 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him. So ask the Lord to grant you wisdom each morning. Before even getting out of bed, say a prayer. I have gotten to the habit of praying this, uh, whether I'm awoken. Set their lives up for success right now uh, by filling their childhood years with God's word. That will also fill your days with God's word. Wisdom only comes from the Lord. No amount of books or Google research or groups of girlfriends will give you the true wisdom that will help you get through the season of motherhood or any season you may be in. Don't look to anyone else but the Lord to give you that wisdom. I really hope this was encouraging to you to seek heavenly things and pray for wisdom no matter of season of life you're in, uh, especially in that, especially in the early stages of motherhood. That's where I am at. And I do need wisdom each and every day and praying for wisdom and seeking the Lord has really changed the way I mother and the way my days look. Because if you do that, if you pray for wisdom and you seek the Lord diligently, like it says in James, uh, the Lord will gen generously bless you with wisdom, not only for the big moments in life and those big decisions you have to make, but also for your everyday mundane responsibilities like tending to cries, changing diapers, cleaning up messes, getting dinner on the table. 
Um, all of that, you need wisdom, especially because we as women with our emotions can lose that sometimes. And we need that wisdom and strength from the Father to help us get through each and every day and to be good godly wives and mothers and examples for our family so hopefully this was encouraging hopefully uh this spoke to your heart and you um are encouraged to pray for wisdom and to seek the father this week and see how that changes both yourself and your household if you want to hear more uh like post about this i do have a website where i write about this topic a lot i will leave that linked below it's youranointedhome.com and you can check out the blog there also follow me over on instagram for daily encouragement on this type of topic and uh if you want to see more videos like this i have some i will link below as well and if you want to see more in the future let me know in the comments below what kind of topic do you want me to talk about whether it's motherhood homemaking being a wife um, any type of biblical encouragement let me know below Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.